First of all, why are they on a ferry? <laughs> this almost feels like a date. I don't know why. Right? Hi, I'm Devija Bhaseen and I'm a counseling psychologist. I'm also known as Awkward Go 3 if you don't know who I am. So today I'm going to be doing a therapy scene review of Dear Zindagi because a lot of people have asked me to do this even though the movie is kind of old now. Okay, not that old but still. So before I get into it, I just want to like let you know that I really liked the movie when I watched it when it came out earlier and um, I don't really mean to offend anyone, especially Shah Rukh Khan fans. I really liked the movie when I watched it earlier but now I'm going to be critically watching it as a therapist so if you're going to get offended, please don't. Movies play a really big role in influencing us and the way we think and like millions of people watch them, especially in India, everyone's a Bollywood fan. So it's really important that they show therapy in a nice and encouraging way. And let's see if this movie did that. So to make everything easier, I divided the whole thing into four um, sub parts. So the first one is the client and the therapist relationship, then the therapist himself and uh, the method methods that he used and lastly the termination and the beginning of the therapy sessions that they showed tell me something tumne apne therapist ke paas jana shuru kyu kiya taki sabko pata sako ki tum gaye ho nahi taki main khud ko bata saku ki main gaye ho this is the first part where they uh, kind of introduce therapy and they do it in such a nice way. I mean, they're trying to show that therapy helps you understand yourself and accept things. So that's a great thing. Because in a formal seminar, I wear these pretty jeans. So, am I crazy? Maybe. Or maybe. I just need a good stylist. So, in the beginning, they show Shah Rukh Khan as this really relatable, approachable, fun kind of therapist. Not like that scary kind of thing that we usually see in movies and TV shows where the therapist is really cold and you know like you can't abuse in front of the therapist or make jokes in front of them that's not how it is usually of course there is, there's all kinds of therapists uh, in India and maybe older ones might not be that um, casual but I'm sure you'll find someone if you look hard enough like someone fun, fun and relatable just like Shah Rukh Khan बड़े कहते हैं आंसू पूछो हंसो तुम गुस्सा आता है बड़े कहते हैं किस स्मा है यू नो वाई क्यों ताकि घर की शांति बनी रहे नफरत करना चाहते हैं तो इजाजत नहीं दी तब जब हम प्यार करना चाहते हैं तो पता चलता है ये सारा इमोशनल सिस्टम ही गड़बड़ा गया है काम नहीं कर रहा है इट कैन ऑफ फंक्शन रोना गुस्सा नफरत कुछ भी खोलकर एक्सप्रेस नहीं करने दिया this happens so often especially in the indian setting you know um, parents don't really show affection or try to they don't let the child express how they feel even if it's anger or tears like we kind of shun people who cry we're like no don't cry even though crying is a very normal emotion सो so, कभी कभी अपने बड़ों से अपने पेरेंट्स से गुस्सा होना ठीक है इट्स गुड इट्स हेल्थी इट्स इट्स ओके कायरा सो एज यू कैन टेल ही इज काइंड ऑफ ट्राइंग टू वैलिडेट व्हाट शी फेल्ट एज अ चाइल्ड एंड आल्सो व्हाट शी इज फीलिंग राइट नाउ इंस्टेड ऑफ डिसमिसिंग हर इमोशंस लाइक यू नो बीइंग लाइक जस्ट गेट ओवर इट और लाइक मूव ऑन और डोंट बी एंग्री ही इज सेइंग दैट इट्स ओके एंड दैट्स अ रियली गुड थिंग एंड He's creating a good, comfortable environment where she wouldn't feel defensive. So this is pretty good. So in terms of their relationship, he is able to create a good therapeutic environment for her. You know where she would grow because like he's validating her, giving her love, um, like professional therapeutic love, not the other kind of love. And um, it's quite realistic in that sense. But at the same time, he's way too friendly in the movie. Like. the way he jokes too much like it's almost like he's crossing that line of being professional and being a little too unprofessional and that's not a good sign um because as we know in the movie also she does get uh, dependent on him and kind of falls in love with him because he did not let the relationship stay professional by talking about himself and 
um, even like taking her outside. Okay, that's not really normal. I mean, talking about your personal experiences, therapists don't really talk about themselves like that. It is a bit odd that he's mentioning his dad. So, I'm going to try to get a lot of time. I'm going to get a lot of time. I'm going to get a lot of time. I'm going वो अपनी मम के पास रहता है। लेकिन वो उसमें से ज़्यादातर बच्चे अपनी माँ के पास ही रहते हैं। I don't know why he's giving her all this information. It seems really weird because like you can tell by her expression that she's feeling kind of bad for him, and that's not really how it's supposed to be. Like, like the therapist is not is not supposed to make the client feel bad for them and their problems. That's really odd. I mean, in some cases, this is called self-disclosure, by the way, like when you talk about yourself in therapy as a therapist, that doesn't really happen that much, but in some cases, it can be helpful for the client, but most cases, it's not. And in this case, especially, it seems really weird because it seems like he's crossing boundaries and telling her and getting too personal. So overall, the therapist character seems like a therapist, definitely. He seems empathetic and understands her and is also not judgmental, mostly as much as you can show a character to not be judgmental and but like he crosses a lot of boundaries and gets way too friendly and kind of leads her on in a way and that doesn't seem right so it's kind of like a gray area in the way they've portrayed him it's not completely wrong but it's not right either <laughs> वो माउंटेन क्लाइम बताइए कि ज़्यादा जाने तो किसी भी चढ़ाई से पहले ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ़ ऑल ही इज़ ट्राइंग टू गिव लाइक टेल हर समथिंग थ्रू अ मेटाफोर बट ही इज़ आल्सो मेकिंग इट पर्सनल बाय टॉकिंग अबाउट हिज ग्रैंडफादर सो दैट्स वियर्ड बट टॉकिंग इन टर्म्स ऑफ़ मेटाफोर इज़ प्रिट uh, in denial, doesn't want to really directly talk about her problems. So using a metaphor is good. Uh, of course, this the way he does it is a little filmy because it's Hollywood, but it's okay. अपने आप को punish करना बहुत जरूरी समझते हैं. But why? आसान रास्ता क्यों नहीं चुन सकते? क्या बुराई है उसमें? खास करके जब उस मुश्किल का सामना करने के लिए हम तैयार ही नहीं हैं. So this is really good, right? Like uh, he is having an open-ended kind of discussion with her, not really telling her what to do and also indirectly kind of telling her what to do. But she, like he's leaving it on her and that is how it usually is. The client can decide what they want to do. There is no direct advice. And also the advice that he's giving is really good. It's not toxic. Like um, maybe if you went to some other motivational speaker type people, they might tell you to hustle, to go for the harder, um, path and stuff like that but uh, he's like it's okay to take the easier path and I think that's pretty good. So to answer the question is it allowed to go and have a session on a beach or something of course there's no one who's going to stop you from doing that but um, it is a little unorthodox and quirky of him to take her to a beach uh, I personally don't think that it's okay to just go to a beach or you know take sessions in such places uh, it might work for some people and it's not completely wrong but there could be a lot of distractions and again you are moving out of the professional setting and getting a little informal and because of that like the relationship can change and it can get a little weird between the client and the therapist because 
this almost feels like a date i don't know why like they're hanging out at the beach and they're talking about their childhood so it's very easy for her to like fall for him or even him to fall uh, for him to fall for her so um this is a little strange why cycle today just breaking the pattern ha huh. break karna chahiye quite possible again kind of strange that they're on a cycle like there could be so many distractions i would not recommend this at all like maybe the beach thing was slightly okay but this is a little much homework homework yeah and i'm very strict with my homework assignments okay to main apne mom and dad se baat karni what does this matter lekin dono se please please main unse kya baat karu mm, time's up agle hafte milenge so uh, this is really realistic in the sense that um, quite a few therapists give homework not all of them but uh, this is like a technique that we can use and it's a great way to make the client independent and work on themselves even outside the therapy sessions so um, and the way that he did it like uh, it was a realistic kind of homework it was not too much to ask for 10 minutes of talking to your parents is not that difficult even in her situation so uh, this is quite good and realistic although if it were me i would ask the client if they are okay with it and if they're ready to do this i wouldn't just spring it on them like that main bhi chahta hu tum azad ho jao apne dar se yeah free free oh wow Help me. Oh damn. A time's up. This scene is really nice because they are showing that you know um there it's like a metaphor it's like a deep meaning scene where they're trying to show that the therapist doesn't directly help you they just empower you to uh, get independent enough to deal with problems yourself like there will always be problems in your life and the therapist just empowers you to deal with them strengthens you basically and that's what the scene is showing like she can pick herself up and she wants his help but he's like no like you can do it yourself now so that's pretty cool i like it so tell me <clears throat> life mein koi major change koi badi baat um i know this is a movie so i don't expect them to dip, you know follow therapy to the t but uh, usually in the first session the uh, therapist asks about you and doesn't necessarily go right into what's bothering you like they can do that as well it depends on the client and how the conversation is flowing but um he does go right into it and ask her like what's up and um, that's okay but it, it can be done in many ways uh jan do you want to get a cup of coffee or something No. The time's up. Agla session bang to nahi karoge na? Ye hamare sessions ka aakhri hafta hai. Kaise miss kar sakte? Okay, the scene is a little odd. So, first of all, why are they on a ferry? <laughs> anyway, um so usually when the therapy has to end uh the client and the therapist talk about it the way he just sprung it on her that's a little odd and it can create a lot of problems as you can tell she is hurt and also like she is kind of hitting on him and it's uh, going into that space which also is very common this happens even clients fall in like clients fall in love with therapists and even therapists can fall in love with clients because of the nature of the relationship that's why it's really important to keep it professional and uh, i don't like the way he kind of dismissed her it's important to address the problem like in case the client falls starts falling for the therapist uh, it's kind of important to talk about it so it's not ignored like that it can create a lot of issues in her you know making her feel kind of uh, embarrassed or get shame because of the way she's feeling so that's not good so overall um i think this movie is pretty good i mean of course it has a few uh, flaws but they're not that terrible and that alarming because i don't really expect bollywood to show a complete actual therapy scene obviously like they have to make it a little filmy or else nobody would watch it um so i would totally recommend people to watch it because like even while i was watching it i was like oh i should go get therapy i should go talk to a therapist like it was encouraging me to go for therapy so that was really good and um uh they show it in a very positive way you know um they do show that there is stigma in the movie as well but they 
it seems like they did the research really well and they handled the whole topic pretty well according to me uh, like i said there were some boundary concerns and some of the parts were a little too romanticized types but other than that i think it's a nice movie also another thing that i really liked about this movie was the fact that they showed uh, alia bhat's character in a very relatable manner like a lot of people go through this problem you know of having certain pain or trauma in childhood and growing up to have that affect their relationships and i like the fact that they didn't show the uh, client person to have like a, a very intense kind of mental illness to show that like even people with regular life problems can go for therapy and feel better with it like it's not only for people who have major uh, disorders or something and and also i really like how relatable her character was because i think a lot of people can see themselves in her character and the way she behaves so that was it seems like uh, they really studied a lot before doing it i'm sure they even talked to a therapist before uh, this whole thing because the way they portrayed how she you know in the first session she was really dismissive of her own problem and she was like i only have sleep problems and then they kind of built the character story from that to into this whole childhood experience thing where it's because of her parents kind of abandoning her and stuff so uh, it's very realistic in that sense and it's able to capture the complexity of the human life and stuff like that they haven't made it too superficial or something so nice